Hello everyone, my name is Mohit and you are watching Cassandra series. In this video, we are going to see how to insert data to a table. In order to insert, we have two commands. There are few different ways to write down the data in a Cassandra table. But I'm going to use two ways. First, insert into command. Second is copy command. By using insert into, you can manually enter the data. Means first row, second row, third row, like this. Uh, by using copy command, you can you you can use bulk insert. Means if you have a CSV file, Excel file, or any kind of file, you can insert into your Cassandra table by using that file. By using that copy command from that file. So let's see. So this is my Ubuntu environment. First, I'm going to create a table. Let's create a table here. Create, create table secure, security, security, home ID, text format, then date time, that's timestamp. Then code underscore used text, then event text. Now I'm defining the primary key. Primary key in the primary key, you know, primary key contain partition key. Now, if I define if I'm using composite key, composite primary key, then first is partition key. Second is clustering key. Here I here I can mention with cluster spelling mistake clustering yes order by date time DESC Oh, no news means good news. So we have successfully created one table here. So you want to check select star from, sorry, <laughs> star from security. Nothing in this table. Now I'm going to insert by using the insert into command. So first of all, let's see insert into security, security. give the fields name home id date time code used and the event in a similar fashion give its value in the single quotes don't use double quotes here abc123 it's like a home id and then date first year then hyphen then month then hyphen then date like 20 like uh, 14 okay here i'm using 10 date okay and time like uh, 0 1 and 10 22 seconds done then code use code like uh, i'm using 2020 code and then event what event happened like i'm saying alarm alarm off that's my okay done so i have successfully inserted this one okay now let's see the second way to insert data to the cassandra so I have a file csv file new dot csv. Let's check it. Okay, so delimiter setting. So this is a file you can see here home ID, date time, code use, event. And I'm using bar as a delimiter. So you can see bar just below than the backspace and upper upper the uh, enter button. Let's close it. Okay, uh, now let's see uh, copy command to insert the data of this new .csv to the 
Cassandra table. First of all, we write the copy command, then table name, table name in security, then fields. I know the fields, home ID, date time, code used, and then event. From, now location of file. File location is home. So I have saved the file in home Mohit and then file name new.csv with header. Yes, uh, the file contain header as right. So write here true. And delimiter, delimiter. Give the limiters in the quotes done. Please make sure the path and delimiter must be in the code, single quotes. Then press enter. Okay, yeah, good news here, 30 rows at the rate inserted. Now let's check it. So you can see 31 record because we have insert one record manually. So now 31 records. Here you can see one thing. Just check, if you check, we have given the uh, home ID as a partition key. So now you can see partition, first partition, second partition, third partition, fourth partition, and then last partition. Partition by home ID and color string order by date time. So within a partition, you can see this records have been arranged according to the date time in the decreasing order. So this date, you can see here 27, then 20, then 90, then 90, then 10, then 8. So within that partition, so within that partition, you can see ascending order. So this is a new partition, then this is a new partition. So we can search the data based upon the home ID and date time. So this is about the insertion. So stay tuned for the next video. In the next video, we'll see how to update and how to delete. Bye bye. Thanks for watching this video.